One of the unique and distinctive features of Tisha B'Av is the custom to refrain from extending greetings and from friendly conversations on that day. The result is a striking and um, very um, a dissonant experience of arriving at shul, seeing a large crowd of people, perhaps some have been away on vacation, people have been traveling, you may not have seen your friends in days or in weeks, and everyone gets together, just like on Shabbat, just like on a Yom Tov, but after shul, when the crowd spills out the doors onto the sidewalks, everyone's quiet. People don't say hello, people don't engage in conversation, everyone separates, finds their families, and walks home quietly. Uh, this is very different, it's unlike any other day of the Jewish year. And I found in recent years, reflecting on that experience and the strange feeling of seeing these crowds in shul but not schmoozing, not talking, not having a conversation, uh, when reflecting upon that, I think it tells us something about how we're supposed to experience the day. Tisha B'Av is a day of communal mourning. We're not mourning our own private tragedies on Tisha B'Av. Uh, we're mourning the tragic history of the Jewish people. We're connecting to all of those sad and tragic elements of our history as a people, and we're trying to motivate ourselves as a people to correct uh, those errors that led to our past mistakes and to try to chart a better future for ourselves as a people. And there's a tendency, there's a risk, when thinking about communal sins and communal tragedy to blame other people for these collective uh, problems afflicting the Jewish people. And actually, Tisha B'Av is a chance, even as we're mourning collective tragedies, even, even as we're repenting for collective sins, we actually spend a lot of time in isolation, by ourselves, sitting in shul, without conversation, without talking to our neighbors, without talking to our friends, and thinking about what we as people, what we can do in our own lives, in our own personalities to make changes uh, that can take responsibility for the collective. So it's a day where we're focused on the collective, but we focus on the collective, we improve the collective by working on ourselves and our own, our own private individual work that has to be done. And, and the day, the season, is really all about that and is prepared for that private personal work for the benefit of the collective.